Okay, this is part two uh, of why I was getting a lot of money. So, uh, now going on to after spending the day at the beach, and we went to three. Third time at Krabby's. Okay, this was the dinner at Krabby's. So, we decided to go to Krabby's again because wife was like, she, she had a good spend that morning, and she had a good spend. She, it was quickly becoming one of her favorite restaurants especially on, on Clearwater Beach. So we was like, okay, we'll try it again. See how dinner was. Well, we decided to go upstairs. So normally time we sat outside on the, on the patio, but this time we went upstairs and um, we just started off good. You know, they came over, the young lady was quick. She was very friendly. She was, you know, a very yeah, tender. Super sweet. Very sweet. She was, you know, very, you know, very nice, trying to help us out, everything she could do for us. And so, we, you know, we, we fell in love with those, what are those drinks called? Uh, the the Sunset. Sunset. Oh my God. I highly recommend you try the Sunset. If you want a good drink, I mean, off the top. It's not power really over strong alcohol, but it's it just, it's, if you want that drink on the balcony, that's the drink to have. Um, but anyway, so we got our drinks, ordered the drinks, because that was coming one of our favorites. And um, she, they brought our drinks to us, and I looked at my drink, I'm thinking they put cherries in the drinks. So sometimes you see the cherry and stem, the stem, stem and yeah. the stem in the drink. So I'm trying to say, okay, let me try to get this cherry out. And I noticed that it was a fly in my drink. Yeah. Yeah. Not real appetizing. Oh, that just killed it for me. I was like, uh, I told, I looked at my wife, I said, there's a fly in my drink. And she said, no, she got to look at it. And she said, oh my God, it's a fly in your drink. So we waited and waited on the server. Now by this time, the, the young lady had been, I mean, almost every time we turned around, she was in our face. But this time she was not. We waited and waited and we waited for she to come back to tell her that there was a drink. And she said, oh, well, I, I'll get her to make you another drink. Cause first she was like standing there looking at like, Oh well, I'm like, oh, there's a fly in the drink. Oh, okay, like it was no big deal. Then she said, oh, let me get this out your face. And she got it out my face. So I'm gonna get another drink. So I'm thinking that you know that should have at least accommodated me for a free drink by the time. No, Which that, they did because they did bring the, it. They did was, bring you another one. Yeah, right? but it did. They didn't say this was a free drink on the house because of the fly. Well, no, they didn't say that in the mission in the beginning. They, in the beginning. So you jump and done. So. <laughs> After we got, the, after I got the drink, you know it was fine. I looked, checked it, but no, nothing that wasn't supposed to not be in it was in it. So, and then she very, she brought my wife some cherries because she didn't get a cherry with hers. and brought me a cherry. So she, like I said, service was good. We sat there and waited, and waited, and waited, and waited, because we kept saying, "Now, nah. we noticed other people still waiting on their food too." And we also noticed the people was coming after us and getting their food before us. Now, I don't know if it's because we waited a long time to order, or I don't know if it was because it was just, they were too busy. It certainly wasn't because we ordered something um, crazy. I had a hamburger and fries. And what did you get? Like it did the night before, so I'm not 
not quite sure what that was about. However, um, I did taste the grouper grilled and I thought it was really good. I thought it was okay. That wasn't bad. I mean, how it. The macaroni and cheese. cheese. You had macaroni and cheese. cheese. And yes. the broccoli. The broccoli was on point. <laughs> I can't lie. The broccoli was the best thing on the on the, the macaroni and cheese. It was cheesy, but it was flavorless to me. I mean, it just didn't have no flavor to it. I mean, it was just eating cheese in the... I mean, what else can I say about that? But... It's not the macaroni and cheese that most people are accustomed to. This was macaroni and cheese that was made with a white cheese. Um, and we're used to like a cheddar cheese based type of American macaroni and cheese. cheese. Yeah. So that, I think that's what threw him off. I tasted it and I thought it tasted fine, but I can eat it either way. But I think that was probably what he didn't like about it was he's used to the cheddar American blend and this was the white cheese not a queso I'm not quite sure what it was um, but anyway I thought it was if I had gotten it I would have eaten it add some pepper to it been just fine and which I ended up doing so same thing with the fish I mean the fish was I noticed down here in Florida that they tend to be a little bit light on the seasoning here and I mean so to me is when you come from other states that are used to heavy on the season and then you come to a place that is very mild season it makes the food taste very bland and everything to me is kind of bland because I'm used to, from being from Tennessee where they make sure that everything is seasoned very well and while in Florida it's not the same now the wife on the hand who is a Floridian now. <laughs> She's used to the bland food. <laughs> wow, so that's not, not entirely true. Not? I'm not used to the bland food. However, um, my food was not bland last night, so I can't say that I'm used to it. I can say that I definitely have places that I like and has really good flavor, but then there are places where they just don't season the food but they I mean Florida is a southern state but it's not like the deep south where everybody is you know puts ham hock and greens and <laughs> you know puts a gallon of salt and stuff that, that doesn't happen here in Florida even the soul food restaurants that I have heard I've never tried any I've heard about a couple um, I've had a friend um, at one of them um, said that the food was bland like there was not a lot of seasoning especially something that you would expect with a soul food restaurant but right. we're not talking about that today we're talking about Krabby's and overall I would say one out of ten I would give Krabby's probably an eight on food because we had three meals there and out of the three two of them were really good for me and um, the hamburger not so great um, the service mm. the service I would say a, a seven because nice. Marcus was on point but the other two servers um, and the young lady that we had I don't know her name she was super sweet she was new um, had only been there a couple of days I would say she tried her best within her limits on knowing what she needed to do as a server for that particular establishment. Right. Um, but the first server that night, if my food hadn't been great, I probably wouldn't have gone back. Um, yeah. So I would say probably a seven because two out of three, I think would warrant that. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, and I tend to agree with her. I mean, my food was just a little bit more on the bland side to me, but <laughs> it was. That salad. Oh, gosh. Salad, I wish we'd have got a picture of that salad. The salad was really it, good. It, yeah. I, I think, I, baby, whoever, whoever fixed that salad, I think maybe they were new because yeah. nobody yeah. taught them the yeah. presentation of a salad, yeah. obviously. Yeah, because I mean, it was not appeal, eye appealing at all. 
and you want your food to be just as much eye feeling as it to taste good and it was not that so um that's all I gotta say about Gravy and uh she gave it a what you give it again uh, uh on the service uh, I gave it seven on the food I have to go with the service on the seven and on uh, food I would like have to give it an eight I, I have to give it like a seven point five because I mean I, I the breakfast was great and uh the fish was okay for on the third meal the the uh and the gator bites was on I had the gator bites on point I had to get the gator bites I just don't I like the peppers with it because I like a little spice to it, but I wish it was more just gator bites than it actually was just pepper because I felt like, you know, they could have gave me more bites than it was peppers because I mean, because most people don't eat the gator bites before they eat the peppers. So, um, overall, yes, that's, that's our review on Krabby. So, thank y'all for checking out the view. So, if you ever get a chance to go to Fairwater and, um, yeah, we, re I, we do recommend you go to Krabby. And um, and you can also check out French. What's it, French? Frenchies. Frenchies, yes. So, which is actually right next door to it. So, all right. Thank you for checking out the review, and uh, we'll see y'all later. Bye.